Hi there, welcome back to Northlight Photographic Workshops. I mentioned in the last video that I was going to take you out on a color tour and uh, woke up today. It's a gorgeous day and uh, big blue skies and I think it's kind of the day to go out. So um, I'm getting everything packed up here, getting my, uh, my drone packed up, getting my DA-10 packed up. I'm not going to bother with any film today. Uh, but I did get this one little cool object here, which is a little add-on lens for my, uh, my DJI um, pocket Osmo here. Uh, takes you a little further away from me and stops you from looking up my, my ample nose here. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to get stuff together here. I've got to get the car packed up. Um, we'll get out on the road. I'll take you to some, some nice places. Hopefully we'll find some really good color spots, take some shots. Maybe do a couple of flights, that kind of thing. Uh, anyway, we'll see what we can come up with. It's going to be another one of those kind of wander around days. So let me go in and get the drone, get everything, uh, and we'll get on the way. Okay, we got the drone. Gear ready to go. Check on our... Uh, not a whole lot of power in there, but it's enough. And we got our batteries full, full. Well, that one doesn't matter. Okay, all set. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here. I don't know. I got these little chipmunks living around here. And it's begging time. They saw me come, he saw me coming out of the uh, car and I come back to the workshop and he's in the shop. So, this little guy here is, I think he's Blackfoot. I've got several of them I've got names for. They're all pretty tame little guys. How you doing, little buddy? He's all covered with my dog's hair. He's been collecting my dog's hair for his nest for the winter. Well, see, one of those other diversions I was telling you about up here. Go. So here we are. My first stop on our tour here today is my uh, one of my favorite kind of secret roads up here. It's called Wilderness Road. It's not too far from my house. Um, it's a pretty short road, maybe a couple miles long, but the thing about it is it's still dirt. And because the uh, federal money hasn't come into it or the state money hasn't come into it yet, um, it hasn't been pushed back 30 feet from center. So the, the trees still overhang the roadway and it's really beautiful. I really like it a lot and it's great at this time of year. Uh, for these fall kind of shots, um, if you know what I mean. It's kind of an easy shot, kind of a deal, but I like to take them anyway. And I've stopped here. Um, I'm going to take a couple of shots right now, so just bear with me and we'll get going again. I always like to have these kind of things where I'm looking down the roadway. And again, those are easy shots, I know, but uh, they're fruitful and uh, fun to take. Now what I'm hoping to do with some of these is to take them back into the studio with you and uh, actually show you what I do with them when I'm, uh, when I'm working in Lightroom uh, and in Photoshop. So that's something I'm looking forward to in the future. I know I've told you about that in the past. Um, 
there's a program called Camtasia that I've just downloaded. I'm just starting to practice with um, so that I can record my screen actions as well. So anyway, you'll get the idea. So it's a very nice day. The light's getting really nice. So let's get on our way. All right. Well, here I am at another shot that's just crying out for me to take it. It's kind of hard when you pass these by and sun jelly shining down through this old maple here at the edge of uh, Johnson Hill Road. So, um, to the next stop on my tour here. Uh, this is along Robinson Road, which is about, I don't know, five, six miles from the studio. And I like to come here to fly sometimes, and this is kind of a perfect time of night. As you can see, the colors are getting really nice. The sun's starting to get kind of low. So I thought I'd do a little bit of drone action right now and uh, see what you think of that. What I'm going to do is take it up in the air and take you along with me. Uh, you know, what I can do is fuse some of that video in with this as it as I get it and uh, show you what it looks like from up up in the sky. All systems are go here. It's clear. Uh, hair is clear. Got a wire here to be careful of. Let's go. Let's have some fun. field is pretty green. Wow, there's a lake off in the distance there. You can see how close we are to uh, Lake Michigan at all times here. So let's fly out a little bit. It's beautiful. It's really nice up there. Still got a bit of light left. Got plenty of battery left. I'm gonna head over to those trees before I bring it on in. I'd like to do a couple of stills over there. That tree line. do that. I'm going to go to uh, still mode, which means I'm going to have to stop video up there, but you can watch me down here. There we go. Wow, that's really something. Nice shot. See, there's a whole lot of trees and a whole lot of color up there. But I think I'm going to bring it home for now, and we're going to go continue our tour. How about that? So uh, as we've moved along on our little tour here, we've kind of lost our sun. Uh, still a nice day out here, but seems to have disappeared. So what I did is I brought you down here to uh, another one of my favorite places, which is a little area called Wycamp Creek. And it's a kind of a nice little cedar forest 
along the creek coming out of Wycamp Lake and going out into Lake Michigan, which is out that way. Um, it's a beautiful little spot. It's always nice and still in here. And uh, quite a nice place to make some images. Yeah, quite beautiful. Now when it's like this, and you've got some low light, more low light happening in the woods, you can always do some slower time exposures. Um, you of course need tripod to do so but uh, and maybe even a uh, neutral density filter to cut the light down even more and it's a place like this where you're looking into the river and uh, there's a lot of reflections of the trees going on up in there and uh, if you take a slower shutter speed that water keeps moving while the shutter is open and it gives you more of a glassy look to the water I think I'll talk about that maybe in some future videos. Maybe the sun's trying to tell me something here and it's time to go back to the studio get something to eat. Uh, it's been a good day, done some good things, flew the drone, made some pretty nice images I think which I'll hopefully be able to share with you throughout the course of this video. Um, got to bring you to a couple of my favorite places but there's a lot more. It's really kind of nice because right now I'm, I'm talking to you and I can see me in the monitor here and uh, I'm realizing that I'm standing in the middle of one of the more beautiful places. I'm lucky enough to live only a couple of miles from here. So uh, I'm going to take you around, show you more of the neighborhood at some point here. And uh, the neighborhood, I say, uh, Northwest Michigan. Um, I'll be taking on more of these journeys. I'm, I'm starting to get into the groove here and I'm having a lot of fun doing it. So uh, we'll see if we can have a lot more fun together. Um, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. It'd be really nice. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, it'd be nice if you'd subscribe. Maybe hit the bell button, uh, hit the bell so that you be alerted when I post these videos. I'm going to start trying to post a couple of them a week perhaps. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, I'm getting a little better at it. Hope you'll bear with me and I thank you a lot for coming along with me today. Take care. Bye. People, do your fucking thing. We all done now? Is that it? Is that everybody? <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing here looks kind of like we've lost a little bit of our sun. <laughs> kind of looks like we lost all of our sun. But that's okay. Um, the wind has picked up and it's giving me an opportunity to shoot a kind of a shot that I've been wanting to do for a little while with a neutral density filter. I gotta wait for this pickup truck to pass by here. Uh, anyway, what I've done for this photograph is I've brought along a, uh, I've brought along uh, my filters, and what I've got here is a neutral density filter. Now I don't know if any of you have been uh, are familiar with them or have used them before. It's pretty dark. It doesn't let much light through, but what it does is it allows you to slow your shutter speeds down in the daylight and get those kind of effects that, uh, you, you know, motion effects, blur effects, that kind of thing. Now what I've been really wanting to do is to do some sort of a photograph with the, uh, the fall colors um, with some motion and some movement. And I was kind of hoping to do this in sunlight. Uh, I'll try it right now to see how it works out. But my plan is here is to photograph this uh, little um, oak tree here back here. Oh, I'm sorry, maple tree. What do I know? Uh, 
this little maple tree back here that's really nice and red and stands out against all of the other uh, the other foliage really nicely but the wind has picked up so things are moving around quite a bit so what I'm kind of hoping to do is to get kind of a ghost-like image of this little tree now what will happen is all of the uh, all of the uh, trunks and all of the, uh, the uh, trees themselves that aren't getting caught by the wind uh, are going to stay still, but that little tree will move around. Now, in theory, we'll see how it goes, uh, but I'll show you my process of doing this. So what I'm going to do, this is a 10-stop uh, ND filter, which is kind of extreme for the situation that I'm working in. Uh, I'd like to use something a little bit less, uh, although that might work best. So. We're going to do that. Got it out of my uh, filter kit here. It's a 10 stop uh, neutral density filter. And I am going to put it on the top of the, uh, on the lens of the camera here as soon as I am ready to, uh, to photograph. Now the problem being is it's hard for me to focus, hard for me to see everything through this thing. So I have to do it without the uh, filter on the lens and then I put the, lens, the uh, filter on afterward. So let's get set up here. Enough talking. So I've got a Manfrotto quick mount on here, which works really nicely for me because I'm always taking the camera on and off the, uh, the tripod. So I'm going to swing it around here. Just bear with me while I frame my shot. I'm going to isolate the tree a little bit too. I'm not going to show any of the road. You get the point when I get to my shot here. So, uh, see that? That would have been a really nice one to have, that big burst of wind. So I've got my shot set up here pretty much how I want to do it. Uh, and so I'm going to add my filter now. I'm all focused. I've set my camera on manual focus so that it won't try to focus once I've got the filter on there. Um, and by the way, I'm using a, uh, what is it, a 24 to 72 or 24 to 70 lens, uh, the Nikon lens, f2.8. It's a really nice lens. I love this lens. So, as I said, I can't really see anything now, but I'm going to trust that my exposure, based upon what I was looking at here, I'm going to go 10 stops off of this, so my exposure is going to be, you know, I'm going to go, let's see, F3.5, because I don't want it to be super sharp with everything in the background. I'm going to go F3.5. I'm going to start off with 10 seconds and see what I get. So, set myself up here. second exposure and I'm just gonna start I'm not even waiting for a gust of wind I just kind of want to get my um, my bearings on where my exposure is right now so there we go I'm gonna look at live view ah there yeah pretty good pretty good uh, pretty good estimate pretty good guesstimate looks pretty cool I'm actually going to stay at 10 second exposure but I'm gonna I'm going to go down another stop. Uh, one thing about colors and color things like this is the more saturated colors, if I underexpose it slightly, the better that will be for saturating my colors. Got another car to come along here, so just bear with us. We'll let them go by. Nice guy. Anyway, all right, here we go. You wait for a little burst of wind here. Ah, here we come. All right, here goes my exposure, 10 seconds. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. It's busy up here tonight. It's a uh, weekend and we're a tourist area as I've mentioned before, so a lot of people coming around. A lot of tourists up this week to uh, look at the fall colors. Woo, there we go. I don't know if you can see that on there. Yeah, I think I can go home right now.
I like you. Anyway, time to move on to the next shot. <laughs>